Imagine a supplement that boosts your power, strength, and even cognitive abilities. That's creatine for you. Today we're diving into my 30-day experience with creatine. Creatine, a naturally occurring compound, is synthesized in our liver and kidneys, and it's primarily found in meats. It's a vital player in supplying energy for muscle contractions, making it a popular choice among athletes and those in the fitness world. According to the National Institute of Health, over 20% of professional power athletes reportedly use creatine to enhance their performance. Now let's take a closer look at what happened when I took creatine for 30 days. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. This day one of January 2024, I took my first dose of creatine. Little did I know a fascinating journey was about to unfold. Creatine, a natural substance primarily found in meat, is synthesized in our liver and kidneys. It's a powerhouse that fuels our muscles, especially during high-intensity workouts. So down went the first scoop, and off to the gym, I went. The immediate effects weren't earth-shattering. No sudden surge of superhuman strength, no instant transformation into a Greek god. But as the days rolled on, subtle changes began to emerge. On the workout front, I started to notice an increase in my endurance. My muscles seemed to have a tad more gas in the tank, allowing me to squeeze out those last few reps that I typically struggle with. At the same time, my strength saw a gradual uptick. Those weights that seemed just out of reach, they began to feel a little lighter, a bit more manageable. It wasn't a drastic shift, but a steady climb, like a hiker making his way up a challenging peak. Now, you might be wondering, were there any side effects? In my case, it was mostly smooth sailing. Some people have reported water retention or minor gastrointestinal issues, but these are generally rare and often linked to excessive dosage of creatine. So how does science back up these changes? Well, creatine works by increasing phosphocreatine stores in your muscles. This additional reserve can then be used to produce more ATP the key energy molecule in our bodies during high-intensity exercise. This explains the added endurance and strength I experienced. By the end of the 30 days, I could see a significant difference in my performance. But what does science say about this? Science has a lot to say about creatine. Let's break it down. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound that our bodies synthesize in the liver and kidneys. It's also found in our diet, particularly in meat. But what does it do? Well, it plays a crucial role in providing energy for muscle contraction. Imagine your muscles as a car engine. The energy to drive this engine primarily comes from a molecule called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now, during high-intensity activities like lifting weights or sprinting, the demand for ATP is high, but our bodies can only store so much. Enter creatine. It essentially acts as a reserve tank of energy helping to rapidly replenish ATP and keep our engines running. But what about the benefits? Numerous scientific studies have shown that creatine supplementation can enhance performance in high-intensity activities. It can help increase muscle strength, improve anaerobic endurance, and speed up recovery. In short, it helps you push harder, move faster, and recover quicker. Now let's address the elephant in the room, side effects. The good news is, according to the bulk of scientific literature, long-term creatine supplementation is safe for healthy individuals. However, it's always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen. The science backs up my experience. Creatine is a game changer, but remember, it's not a magic pill. Uh, after 30 days of creatine, I can confidently say it made a difference. But it's not all about supplements. Remember, the key to achieving your fitness goals is a combination of elements. Just as a car needs fuel, air, and a spark to function, your body needs proper training, balanced nutrition, and the right supplements like creatine to perform at its best. It's a holistic approach, and each element plays a significant role. When it comes to creatine, it's a game changer for many athletes. It's not just me saying it. Research suggests over 20% of professional power athletes reportedly use creatine. They rely on it for that extra boost during intense, short bursts of power activities. It's that secret sauce that could help elevate your performance and get you closer to your fitness goals. But remember, it's not a magic pill. It's a tool, a supplement to your training and nutrition. So keep up with your workouts, 
maintain a balanced diet and consider creatine as your potential ally in your fitness journey. If you found this video useful, do leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. Before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to try our 90-day dopamine detox challenge, watch the video on your screen next screen.